It is a moody, rainy day. Oh no, someone lost their lion from their lion coat. Here in Oslo, uh, it's been raining uh, basically since I got in yesterday. So uh, now it's actually gotten a little bit cooler. Uh, I've been taking lots of coffee breaks today. Uh, I went to the gallery today to see the scream and it was amazing. I didn't know that Munch actually had a bunch of other paintings that are maybe even better than the scream. But the scream has always been my favorite, so I was really happy to see it. Uh, there's a cute little set of houses over here, right in there, where I just had a, a really fun coffee break. It was a really, really cool cafe, maybe four tables, a uh, friendly guy in there. I got a free refill, some delicious cinnamon buns that had salt on them. That was interesting. And now I am treating myself to... the Opera House. There's a tour going on right now from uh, one of the local hotels, so I'll skip inside for now. But I guess one of the reasons that everyone is excited about the Opera House is that you get to climb all over it. And that reminds me of the Parliament in Australia, where I actually rolled down the grass hill. That is Parliament, so that was kind of fun. Uh, because it is about 45 and raining, uh, I don't think that I'll do that. My poor lion coat, it's in a sad state of affairs. It has uh, not weathered this rain very well. It looks like it has recently drowned. But this is kind of fun. From afar, this looks like it would be really, really slippery. But as of right now, we're good. We'll see though if I end up in the harbor. There's a ton of construction everywhere. So maybe that's the downfall of traveling in November is that you have all this construction everywhere. Um, I wanted to go to the city hall today, but it's also under construction. It's actually completely closed. You can't go in at all. So we'll head over, look inside from upstairs. Oh good. Looks like there's a cafe. Maybe I'll have more coffee and upload this video. I can't tell if that's a cruise ship or if that's the ferry. I think it might actually be the ferry. My spirits are a little bit uh, down today because of this rain. It's been kind of hard to, to get excited about Oslo. It's uh, not a city with a lot of sight. Uh, I walked around the palace. Walks to this little park that has a Christmas Christmas market set up. The pedestrian street. I feel like I've covered most of the things that you can see in the city so far. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to go explore this cool little neighborhood that's near my hostel. Oh lord, my hostel. I'm with uh, seven other people. And I had an idea that I was in for trouble when I came back at four yesterday. And the guy below me was already asleep. Well, at three o'clock this morning, he got up and made rice, a giant pot of rice, and ate it with all the lights on. I can't wait until I grow up and get a job where I can do things like travel to Norway and not stay in hostels. That would be amazing. But I knew that going into this, that it would probably be an adventure. Those things always are. But it's not Dublin, so I'm thankful for that. It's not a bad little view. Oh, it's so dark. The sun will set soon. Uh, it's about 2.30 now. So I think the sun will set in maybe about uh, half an hour or so. If it's anything like yesterday. My hostel is on kind of a dodgy street. I don't know how dodgy dodgy is in Norway, but I mean, I live in Buffalo for eight years, so I think I can handle it. Uh, other than that, I can sort of see why people don't say things like, hey, you need to go to Oslo. I don't think I like it as much as Copenhagen. Oh, so there is this thing going on that I can't figure out. 
they have these saunas all over the harbor here and people are jumping in and then going back into the sauna and I've seen that maybe four or five times already so that's kind of fun maybe I go get my cactuses and jump in the water absolutely not that's not gonna happen at all I'm already wet so here we are at the very peak of the upper house I was going to go to a show last night, but I sort of forgot. Whoops. And by the time I had walked around, I was kind of over it anyway. So Norway, or Oslo, is kind of a modern city, which is a little bit surprising to me. I thought it would be a little bit less. But, not bad. Not bad. So there you go, an introduction to Oslo from the top of the Opera House.